So guys, you have done your keyword research. The next biggest thing that I see that is a massive, massive failure is the content brief that you give to your writer. Now, I know your writer's going to be using some form of AI, but you need to give them a brief. So we know that we use SEMrush to do keyword research and see which terms are the best to go for using volume and so on and so forth. We've done that part. Now, the next thing is the content brief. Now, I use phrase.io, and you can see it's got a content, it's the content brief section. Now, bear in mind, your writer probably knows next to nothing about plumbing, the same as I do. <coughs> now, so many people just say to the writer, go and write about Plumber London. Go do this, go do that. That's it. You know, they give them a heading. You're expected to go away and do the research and there's no real content brief, no real data or information behind that. That is where phrase.io comes into its own. Now, you can basically punch in the keyword. Phrase will go and scrape the top 20 search results for that search term and come up with a content brief. Now we know that uh, there is a number of different competition um, out there, Plimco being one of them. Now we can see the headings that all of these kind of guys use, the questions that people um, use. So we can click on anything we want here. Why choose the Italian plumber? Now I know that's someone's brand, but basically you can put whatever you want that appears here over into that section over here on the left hand side by clicking the word paste. So it adds everything into the editor over here. So you can create your content brief based on questions, stats, stats are always good. So, um, you can basically put that stuff over there. Um, so you can basically create an outline um, <coughs> based on your competition. And you can save that outline um, and then pass that over to your content writer to go away and do some work. Now, basically, a nice content brief will give someone, and this is one I've done earlier, it will give them a little bit of information, it will give them a goal, it will give them a target word count, it will give them tar uh, target amounts of headings, you can even give them a date if you want to give them a deadline, you will give them people also ask, you will give them the actual SERPs that are up there, you can also give them the top 20 topics surrounding SEO, such as strategy, websites, content, services, clients, and everything else. You can give them the topic clusters um, that all comes on here. And you can give them, as I say, statistics, headers, questions, and any external links that you want them to link to. If you want to link to Google or something that someone said, again, that should all form part of your content brief. And all of that can be pulled together very, very easily using phrase. So make sure that when you're doing your keyword research, you are then creating a content brief. Now, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy phrase by any stretch of the imagination, but you have to say to your content writer, here is a keyword, here is the kind of target range of words that that article needs to be. Now, there's no set thing where you can say to people, every article should be 500 words. For every keyword, in all the different niches, in all the different areas that are out there, the keyword volume is going to differ. It's not natural to write 20, 500 word articles. Who the hell said it's 500 words? That is where you need to use data to make those decisions. And Phrase scrapes that data and basically puts it on a plate for you, which is why you can give your content writer a detailed brief and they can go away and do their thing. Now, whether, as I say, they use Qualarator, 
or any other tool, um, including scale nut and whatever else that I've shown already, that is up to you. Now, they've then got to do some manual edits, maybe add in some of these questions and do little things like that, but giving them that data is going to make their job a hell of a lot easier. And it's a cost to your business for a tool like that, but it is something that is going to allow you to work at scale more efficiently and have more structure. So make sure that you do use a similar content brief when working with your content writing team, guys. Thank you.